tucked away in the Capel Valley lies one of Saskatchewan's most environmentally progressive towns. About 1,800 people call Lumsden home. Brian Matheson is the town's mayor. He says he isn't an environmentalist. We felt that renewable energy uh, was certainly a, a great way for us to use what's here and reduce the cost for our residents and, and do what's right for, for the world. In 2017, the town began its transition to solar with the River Park Community Building. Matheson says the project brought on some initial sticker shock. Generally speaking, I think people were receptive, not everyone, but for the most part, and especially the young people. As we grew younger, there was more acceptance and more readiness to buy into what we're doing. The River Park panels produce roughly 15,000 kilowatts of energy a year, which translates into more than half of its annual power usage, saving the town $21,000 in its lifetime. In 2020, the recycling depot and the sewage lift stations went solar as well. Cameras are ready, but they're not too bad. <laughs> but then came the town's biggest project, the wastewater treatment facility. Town Councillor Rhonda Phillips says it was badly out of date and not environmentally sound. All of a sudden we had an excess water problem and we had infiltration into our sewer tiles and uh, so it, it, was, it was time to address the issue. The town received more than $15 million in provincial and federal funding, which helped cover the $21 million price tag of installing a solar array the size of two football fields. Now, the processing system cleaning the wastewater is so environmentally safe, it's helping to improve local waterways. Our levels of contamination in our effluent are in some cases lower than what is in the river. So in fact, they our sewage can ameliorate the contamination that is already in the river. Around Saskatchewan, solar has been catching on. First Nations have been active in adding solar to their communities, with major projects completed in Cowessis and Muscaday. But the province's two biggest cities have been slow to absorb the sun. Regina currently has two recreational facilities using solar energy, plus a hot water heating system at a fire hall. And Saskatoon has two city pools pulling energy from solar panels. But both cities say larger projects are in the works. Back in Lumsden, Mayor Matheson appreciates change is hard, and he has some advice to his fellow Saskatchewan mayors. You don't have to do it today, but plan to do it tomorrow. Fiona Odlum, CBC News, Lumsden.